Okay, before just start uh, using hyperdivision debugger mode, uh, first we have to uh, have some very basic knowledge about the Windows internals. And uh, you, you probably know about it, but for those who don't know, I just want to re-explain it uh, like uh, in Windows, uh, most of uh, these details are derived from the Windows internals book. You can read it if you are interested. Actually in Windows, uh, every process is represented by a structure which is called E process, which is a part of NT module or NT OS kernel uh, module. And also it uh, contains everything that related to each process, like uh, every details that a process needs to execute to be executed in the Windows, like process ID, like the process name or whatever uh, information that you can imagine. Uh, the same is true about uh, threads. Uh, each process can have several threads, and uh, the structure for its, uh, for uh, each thread, like its thread ID and other details, are uh, stored in uh, underlying e thread uh, structure. Actually, uh, the e process uh, structure is uh, is a uh, um, stored in the Windows kernel addresses and it's not available uh, through the uh, user mode uh, but in HyperDVG we can handle both user mode and kernel mode addresses there is no limitation for that because HyperDVG is loading in the VMX root mode so it's, uh, it's privileged enough to uh, basically uh, explore uh, both the user mode and the kernel mode there's also another structure which is called PEB which stands for process environment block and it's also in the process uh, address space and contains some information which is available for the user mode code. Uh, there's a command uh, in uh, HyperDVG which is called the dot process which shows uh, a list of processes and uh, their uh, e-process structures and we can also switch to a view or the memory layout of a specific uh, process by using this command. It all, this slide also explains about Ethered and uh, the same uh, is also true about, uh, it's also uh, available on the kernel addresses. Uh, we can, there's another, uh, uh, information which is available in the user mode which is called thread environment block or teb and it exists in the process address space and explains about the thread window subsystem or uh, the csrss uh, also maintains a parallel structure for each thread uh, uh, it has a trace of the each uh, a structure that is uh, created for the thread and it can handle it. There is also another uh, subsystem for the windows uh, for the threads uh, uh, or it's called uh, user or GDI functions that are handled uh, in Win32K and the structure is W32Thread. In HyperDVG, we have a, a command which is called dot thread that shows the uh, current uh, executing thread or the thread that we are currently executing. And also able to create a list of all the available threads in a specific process. And I think that is whenever you, uh, you use Windows, uh, a, a portion of the DLLs or modules, binary modules are loaded in the kernel mode and some of them are loaded in the user mode per each process we will see each of them and we will see how uh, how hyperdvg can show both the kernel mode and user mode uh, modules along with their addresses their stats, start size and pass those functions